we're back and we are gonna head i guess we're not actually technically going to Baldur's gate yet we're going to the road to Baldur's gate the absolute armies are on the march and Baldur's gate is their target let's go oh i should have wanted what's his name oh well hey remember the soul coins i have too defeated. The path ahead clear. You should be elated. But the sight of the land you leave behind does nothing to alleviate your sorrow. Okay. So, what was it? Worms Crossing is where we're going next. Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Worms Rock is secure, and preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the Flaming Fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. What the fuck? Your throat, sir. Oh. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Why? Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to be you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh. But tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. Uh -oh. What's that done? Dramatic music. Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence. One sleep away. Okay. Oh, 
another step forward. I don't know why we had to go up there for that, but sure. Uh, does anyone want to have a legit chat, Paddywhack? Sterion. The gate is closed. As is Casador, And we are no closer to knowing why that bastard is so obsessed with getting me back. Any more leads? I think we should track down my fellow Spawn. I'm not exactly looking forward to a reunion, but perhaps they'll know something. If we can find them, we can force them to tell us what he's been doing since I was gone. And honestly, I imagine they'll be coming for me in the night if I don't. Where would the other spawn be? Casadors change their orders. They'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Okay. Let's go take a little nap. <laughs> the events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The absolute is not a god, but an elder brain I get, can I get an achievement, the please? chosen of the dead three. They mean to use it to take control of the sword coast. All who carry the tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers. That's not great. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the astral prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate that them seems their like a lot. And their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? Uh, all I want is to be free. I'll do what's necessary to make it happen. Free everyone of this evil. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Really? Fight your way to the portal. I need your help. Wait, what? Escape to the portal before the absolute take control. First step is the hardest. Invenium V. Done. Where's our dream guardian? I'm here. Help me. I'm under attack. Wait. Dude, this monk is just destroying everyone. Nothing. 
Nothing will stand in my way. Can I shoot you off? No. Hmm. It's not over. Possibly Can't dazed, stop. can't take reactions, and lose dexterity. Start whittling, whittling down the health. Good enough. Taking position. Stop it. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. Let's finish this. Okay, we use firebolt. And my headset died. We could get a... Why did it switch? Hang on. Hurry! I can't hold Here's it up alone. There we go. You still up there, Carly? What? Looking ahead. Come on. There we go. If I could get like the achievement for finishing this act, essentially. Come to the skull. What I want, at least for today. Oh boy. Wait, who are we helping here? I 
I'm the one that's been protecting you. I am the one. Really? You're a mind flayer. I don't believe you. I am the reason you are free. We are more alike than you want to admit. Look past it. I know you don't want to, but you must. Now, help me. Try to read his thoughts. I think I have inspiration, right? Come on. Can't read his thoughts. Despite your best attempts to be subtle, the mind flares awareness is everywhere. You blunder in its presence like a walk pup learning to walk. You must be joking. Look around you. We are at war. Fight with me. Your future depends on it. Aid an illicit against Githyanki. We cannot. We must not. Your blind loyalty will be your undoing, Lazel. Fight with me for your own survival. Together, we can turn the tide. This better be fucking worth it. That's not great. On my way. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, do these guys have... Do necrotic, why not? Just to start working on that guy. Destroy the honor guard. Uh and make them bleed. We'll use action surge just to try and really whittle them down. I made a great mistake. Five hundred experience. Holy shit. Ok, 
Okay. Start trying to whittle them down. Hit you. Oh, we can't shove now. Oh well. Old person means I can't do anything, right? Was hoping to knock them off, but whatever. Let's just. Oh, we can't. There's not even, not even enough. Oh, wait, no, there is. Cool. Hopefully, this scares her away. Pretty clutch on the uh, crit there. Oh, okay. Flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. It's obscene to owe my life to a damned geek. No more lies, no more tricks. I will have answers. Who are you? I'm going to need a name this time. Uh, uh, yeah. You may call me the Emperor. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of Mind Slayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. the absolute i was a thrall like any other but i was fortunate i broke free and started a new life in my old city i sustained myself on criminals unglamorous but there are plenty of them rarely missed and they fueled me when i did my work i had the good fortune to meet duke stillman we formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course, they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered 
by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name was intended as a slight to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Okay. Was one of the chosen in the colony. Uh, did he eat the criminal's brains? Uh. So he was a chosen? One of the chosen? Indeed. His hubris knows no bounds. To enslave me, that was his nature. But to enslave an elder brain, a questionable decision. I shall look forward to sharing his downfall with you. So, do you eat their brains? Rather them than potential future allies, like you. Okay, that's fair. Uh, so who's in the sphere? Prince Orpheus, son of the first leader of the Githyanki. Orpheus? Impossible. He was slain by Shistil Kithrak himself. Quite possible, I assure you. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' mother left, a usurper took her place. Blacketh declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Blacketh wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. Uh, okay. Was it your Orpheus that Blackest wanted to, us to kill? Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyankis Why am I looking away? In defiance of their teachings. Blackith was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. I don't understand. The histories claim the prince was burned to ash in the skies. Your histories are fabrications. The prince was not killed. As you can very well see, he was imprisoned. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. Okay, uh, how did Gortash and the other children find out about the prison? A very good question. One that I have been unable to answer. These camera angles, man. That Orpheus lives at all is ruinous to Blackith. She has done everything in her power to keep his existence a secret. And that Gortash and the Chosen found out about it. This is impossible to explain. But it was important enough to them that Gortash sent me to retrieve it. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside and found Orpheus. I realized what the prison was for. Containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. Okay. What happens if we free him? That would be a terrible idea. 
The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense will be to kill him. And in so doing, you would doom us both. That's fair. Even though he is subdued, he feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid. A sworn enemy, just like me. Okay, the more I talk to you, the less you seem like a mind player. Or like in other ways, too. I'm glad you think so. I agree. But there you got is eyes, one thing that you have hands. that I do not. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. Yours continues to limit you. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You, too, should embrace this change. Trying to avoid becoming one. Uh, I thought you agreed to protect me. I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent Alithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle. I'll continue you believe. your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. Hard pass. Even as you say the words, you feel a lurch of disappointment. Your mind bristles with a lithid. That would be a uh, playthrough too. How could you be so cruel as to deny yourself what you want most in the world? I felt that. It's your nature. You cannot fight it. So embrace it. It okay. wants to evolve. But it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. Um. Detect thoughts. Fuck. The tadpole prickles with excitement. Its thoughts rampant and chaotic in its rush to communicate with you. It is impossible to discern any single intention. What is it? A tadpole, nurtured by the psionic energy of the astral plane, cocooned here for millennia. It has become extraordinary. Open your mind. awakens it's yearning almost unbearable your mind is a veritable feast the tadpole's uh -oh. essence courses through you where it touches your flesh glands all i don't mean to do that contract and flood with pure thought you feel different your body has never felt more connected oops your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle you are exquisite when your allies see what you can do i hope you encourage them to try it for themselves but we mustn't lose focus we need to resume our journey you heard the chosen the brain has gone to the city and the army marches to follow we must not let them reach it we must find the brain and bring it under our control Okay. You have embraced Ceramorphous and become half illithid. You are now unlock even more psionic. Okay. Whoops. Alright, here we go. No time to rest. Marvelous adept. Uh thing of spell slots, charges, and similar resources cost for your next action or spell when removed. Sculpted magical nexus that allows you. Those within you take actions and bonus actions interchangeably. Yes.
Grant, er, ooh. Take Intellect for five turns. Displacer Beast. Fade, no. Temporary hit points, yes. Sure. Uh... Now can we sleep? Slays out one. Yes. Gith's only son. He lives. It is not the Gaith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Voss would set free. It is Orpheus. The blood of the mother. The Prince of the Comet. Uh, our dream figure is a Mind Flayer. Isn't that more concerning? Uh, well, hang on. If he can block out Illithid. Yeah. And even more powerful still. It said he could bring a thousand Githyanki to their knees with one command. Listen close. The Emperor spoke only in half truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Lacketh. Long ago, oh when boy. we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. Okay. Our current Vlakith has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith 1. It was Kithrak Voss himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle, or so the Varshis teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us, subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. That's great. What happens now? We meet Voss in the city. And we obtained the key to freeing Orpheus from his prison. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies, and the living weapon that conquered our gay slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. If the Githyanki are to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. Okay. Now let's try and sleep. Alright, I'm actually going to call it for now because I do want to get to the gym. Since I might not be going tonight. Uh, so I'm going to call it for now. I'll be back in a couple hours probably. And I'll hopefully see you guys then. Thanks for watching and uh, bye.